All right, guys, so we're back with episode two. So I'm going to show you guys how to save data to a database. So what we're going to do is every single time a user joins, we're going to save uh, their username and their Discord ID to the database. Uh, so first of all, to actually save data to to MongoDB, uh, we're going to use Mongoose's schema to do that. Okay, so pretty much um, MongoDB itself doesn't have any structure. So you can pretty much save whatever properties you want at any time. Like if you compare it to MySQL, with MySQL you have what's called a schema. So for example, if you have a table, that table is defined by its rows and columns. And the columns are pretty much like the fields. So for example, column A could be all of the user's usernames. And the data type would be a varchar, or you would probably consider a string. And then you can have the Discord ID and the date that they joined and a bunch of different things okay so it has its schema mongodb naturally doesn't have any schema so not every single document inside a collection is going to have the same properties present there might be some properties that are not there and there might be some that are there okay so typically you don't want to have a schema -less database so we're going to create a schema with Mongoose, and that's going to pretty much sync up properly uh, with the database for our application. So let's go ahead and create a schema. We're going to create a folder called schemas, and I'll just create a new file called user schema.js. We're going to go ahead and import Mongoose, just like that. Const Mongoose equals require Mongoose. And what we're going to do next is we're going to declare a variable, call it user schema. And we're going to create a new instance of the schema class that's from the mongoose library. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and say equals new mongoose.schema. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pass in an object. And the object inside here is where we're going to define our schema. So it's actually fairly simple. So let's say for example, for our schema, we want to have a username for all of the documents. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead and type the name of the property we want it to be. So for example, username. And what's next is you want to tell it what data type it's supposed to be. So we're gonna use the schema types class, or these are actually just a group of constants. Okay, and we're going to use a string for username. Now, same thing with the Discord ID. But let's just say, for example, this, the Discord ID was uh, mandatory. We needed to have the Discord ID. So how would you provide more options for your schema field? Well, it's really simple. You pretty much want to map the property to an object. And then over here, you can specify the type, just like that. And then you can set the required property to true. By default, it's set to false. So we can just set it to true. And this should be, there's a lot of properties that you can look up on the Mongo, on the Mongoose uh, website. I'll actually leave links in the description so you guys can group on it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and compile the schema down into a model. To do that, we'll simply just declare a variable first called call user. Actually, we don't even need to do the variable name. We can actually just do a module that exports. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and call the model function. We want to give the name of the collection for our schema. So this collection is going to be called users. So we'll just say uh, just say user and then we want to pass in the user schema just like that okay so what we're doing here is we're pretty much just compiling the model or we're, we're compiling the schema into a model and we're just having this being exported okay because once you have this exported you can pretty much import this to wherever you want and you can import it and once you import it you can use that to interact with the database okay and I'll show you that in a second so let's save this and let's go over to our index.js file and we're going to go ahead and register a listener onto the 
Uh, let's see. Mm. You know what we'll do? Uh, since I don't have another Discord account, we're just going to use the message event. And we're just going to send a message. The whole point of this tutorial is to show you is how to actually uh save data so don't really worry so much about the scenario that we're trying to simulate okay so hopefully that's not too much of a bummer for you guys all right so what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna go ahead and every single time we send a message we will just save it to the database okay so let's first import our schema so or not on our schema our model sorry so the schema is what we have created, but we're exporting the model itself. Okay. So when you call this DOM model function, it returns a model. So I don't want to confuse you guys. So let's import the model. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're simply just going to go ahead and just save it to the database. So the way we do that, is first let's just get the data that we need. Okay, we well let's let's talk about what the data it is that we need to save. We need the user ID and the username. So const uh, let's just call this new user equals await something's wrong with my keyboard uh, equals await user and then we're going to go ahead and say create and we're going to pass in the properties so username message author the id discord id message the author that id oh whoops that should be username okay and from here uh, I think this should just create the user, but we still need to save it. So const saved user equals await new user dot save. So this should save it. So if you try to use the dot create function, I don't think that will actually save it to the database. You still need to actually call dot save. We can try it though, because it's been a while since I've used mongoose. So let's go ahead and do this. And to actually view our database, I'm going to use a graphical user interface application called, let's see, uh, MongoDB Compass. So let me open that up real quick. And I recommend you guys download this tool as well. It'll make it a lot easier for you to visualize your, your application. Okay, so let's see, let me open up my uh, let's see. Okay, so we're getting an error because we need to have this function as an async. Okay, so right now on our database, we don't have any data. So we need to actually go ahead and just have this work first. So let's just go ahead and send a message. And if we look at the console log there's nothing wrong that's that happened which is good let me refresh my database okay so you can see over here I have my MongoDB compass and you can see I have all of my uh, databases here that I've had that I've used and you can see this is the one that we're using let me see if I can zoom in there we go so you can see I have MongoDB discord JS here and then I have users and let's look at the data. So the username, the void, Discord ID, Discord ID. So we know that this is working the way we expect it to, the way we wrote the code, which is good. So that's pretty much how you would save data to a database. So it seems like you actually don't even need to call this dot save function. Now there's actually also another way that you can uh, save data to the database, and I'll show you that right now. So instead of calling the dot create function you can also just use you can instantiate uh, the user by doing this though I'm not sure why there's no intelligence for the schema properties but you can pretty much do this const new user equals 
new user so you're creating an instance of the model but you do need to save it by calling dot save and i'll show you that in a second so let's refresh and i'll just delete this it will duplicate anyways so it doesn't really matter so let's just send a message refresh see how it doesn't save to the database okay just to double check it doesn't save okay i just refreshed it and the reason why is because we need to actually call the dot save if we instantiate it this way so let's just do that so const save the user equals await new user dot save and let's go ahead and type a message and there you go if i were to send another message it would just save a duplicate to the uh to the database so you can pretty much prevent that by setting a unique value for discord id so it will throw an error if a unique value collides with the current existing documents okay but this is pretty much another way that you can save data i think personally it's just easier to just call user.create create just like that and it returns a promise so you will need to use await async await or dot then dot catch and yeah i think it's just easier to use dot create like this it's up to you but just wanted to show you guys that there's two ways to uh actually saving data with mongoose okay so yeah that's pretty much it so i know uh, i said i was going to simulate the uh message react i'm uh, not message reaction mess uh, on member join event well, because I don't have another account, I can't really, you know, have the user join the server. So I just said to just use the message event, but it should be pretty much simple. You can just simply do, I'll, I mean, I'll write the code for you guys so you guys will know how to do that. So uh, it'll be on mem see, guild member add, and then you have the member right over here. And then you'd pretty much just get the member ID by simply doing member or let's get the username first so member dot user dot username and then discord id member dots id just like that so this, that's pretty much the code to save a user to the database every single time uh you want to it is pretty much every single time the user joins it will save uh, their username and discord to the database okay you can test out yourself it should work just fine uh but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for this tutorial so in the next tutorial i'll show you guys how to actually uh find data in the database i don't want to keep this tutorial long but i'll see you guys in the next tutorial peace